Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over 13 free SEO tools, otherwise search engine optimization tools that you can use for your website. So these are going to go through a variety of things, looking at the top keywords for your website, analyzing your website's page speed, seeing what keywords are driving traffic to your website, uh, looking at your backlink profile, analyzing competitor websites. So there's a lot of different tools here. They're all free. Uh, you're going to see a lot of them are from Google because they have some of the best SEO tools and because they have the biggest search engine. It makes sense to use their free SEO tools because they're just going to give you a lot of the data that they already have to help you improve your website. So first things first, kind of an obvious one is going to be Google Analytics. So with Google Analytics, you're able to track what search queries are sending traffic to your website, especially once you connect the Google Search Console. We just did a Google Search Console tutorial, so make sure you check that out. Um, you can see the top search queries, landing pages, uh, where your traffic is coming from, what devices people are using, and you can use that with some of your e-commerce or any of your goals to see what landing pages, what search queries are driving traffic and sales to your website. So the first thing is Google Analytics. You're going to be able to see a ton of data about where your traffic comes from, how it performs, and you can find a lot of uh, optimization opportunities just by using this free tool. Uh, the next one is going to be the Google Keyword Planner. So we also have a tutorial for this on our channel. Um, with the Keyword Planner, you can find new keywords. Just come into the Keyword Planner. You would sign into Google Ads through your Google account, create your Google Ads account, and then under Tools here, you're going to see Keyword Planner. So what you can do is just enter a keyword. So for us, I'm going to be using Beachfront Decor, Beach Decor, as a lot of the examples for this video. When you click on Get Started, it's going to give you uh, the top keywords by relevance, the average monthly searches, competition, ad impression share. You could see some search trends throughout the year. Um, and you can look at a lot of different things with the Google Keyword Planner. They'll give you some related terms to try, but if you scroll down, you're going to see they're going to give you probably thousands of keyword ideas and just tons of different things that you can do to basically create content around these keywords on your website so that you can drive more traffic to it. Now, the next keyword tool that I use a lot, uh, if you don't want to use the Google Keyword Planner, if you don't have a Google Ads account, very simple, is Ubersuggest. So just go to neilpatel.com slash Ubersuggest, enter the keyword you want to look up, push, press search. So for this one, it's going to say this keyword is competitive. There's a 49% chance you can rank in the top 20. Paid difficulty is hard. SEO difficulty is medium. Search volume is 12,000. So if we click on keyword ideas, uh, this is like incredible. You can see the top keywords related to beach decor ranked by volume. Um, you can see what websites are ranking the highest in the Google search results. Uh, you can see estimated visits, domain scores. So you can see maybe some reasons why you're not ranking as high. So you can see we don't have beachfront decor here. We're like in the somewhere in the 20th spot right now. Um, but you can click on all these different keywords, see what the Google search engine results pages show. Um, and you can export a lot of this information, look at the top volume keywords. Under related, you can find things like area rugs, shower curtains, wall decor. So these are other things people are searching related to beach homes. So if you do beach area rugs, beach shower curtains, you can find hundreds, thousands of keyword ideas. So between the keyword planner and Uber Suggest, you really don't need much more in terms of keywords. Now, when you start building content, the main thing you want to use to track how your website is performing in Google search results is the Google Search Console. So it's going to show you how many web search clicks you're getting, how many, you know, any issues that you're having with coverage in the Google index. If you go to performance, it's going to show you how many clicks, how many impressions you're getting over a certain time period, top search queries. So again, it's going to you want to connect your Google Search Console to your Google Analytics so you can see your top landing pages, top search queries. Uh, you can see what's driving you traffic, what's driving impressions in the Google search results. So between these four tools, you can find a ton in terms of keywords, what's performing well, things you need to optimize for, really areas of opportunity um, that you need to optimize for and continue to grow your search engine traffic. The next two tools are going to be related to PageSpeed. So the first one is the Google PageSpeed Insights tool. Um, we're going to have links for all of these different tools in the description. We'll do it uh, in order the way we did it in the video. What you can do is enter your website. You can look at mobile, desktop. It's going to give you a speed score, show you whether it's fast, average, or slow, show some issues that you might be having, um, and ways that you can really fix some of those issues. So it gives you a lot of different information for PageSpeed. The next one is GT Metrics. Um, so I typed in my URL here, I analyzed it, the report came up, but it, it actually just refreshed the page. 
It's going to take a little while for the free version. There is a GT Metrics Pro version that you can do, which gives you unlimited searches very quickly. But when you do your URL to analyze, it's going to take about five minutes to show up, but it's going to give you um, a bunch of different page speed scores and show you any issues that they're, they analyze on your website. So gtmetrics.com, it's a great free tool. It takes a little while when you enter your URL, but it's worth the wait for all the information they give you. And if you're running a WordPress website, they have a ton of plugins that will actually fix a lot, of, help you fix a lot of the errors for you. You can see down here it's showing over 360 million pages analyzed so far. And the number just, this is obviously just a counter, but that number just continues to go up and up. But that's because that's how many they're analyzing every day. It's just constantly people typing in their URL and seeing how they can increase that speed. So the next one is another free Neil Patel tool. It's the SEO analyzer. Um, so obviously you're probably familiar with Neil Patel if you're in marketing, he's probably the best person to follow when it comes to marketing information. He also has some great free tools on his website, and I know he has some paid things that he does like consulting, but um, if you enter your URL here and click analyze, it's going to give you a website analyze report. So it's saying our page level SEO score is a C minus. There's one error, three warnings, 15 passed. Our speed score is a 68. So you can tell we have definitely some areas of opportunity here for beachfronttocore.com. It's by no means a perfect website. Um, it's gone through a bunch of redesigns and it really needs some work, honestly. So you can download the PDF report and get a ton of different information about your website. You can look at some different errors here. Um, so the SEO analyzer tool is basically going to look at your website like a search engine would and give you some issues that you can fix um, to help increase your SEO score and really help increase your rankings over time. So neilpatel.com, he has a bunch of free tools, Ubrick Suggest, and the SEO analyzer I use uh, pretty frequently just to see if I can find some errors on my websites. Now the next one if you're running WordPress is the Yoast SEO plugin. So the Yoast SEO plugin will generate a sitemap for your website. It'll help you optimize your titles, your meta descriptions. It'll help you decide which pages you want indexed in search, which pages you want no indexed in search. Um, so there's a lot of different options with Yoast. You can see there's over 5 million active installations. Uh, the overall reviews is 4.9 out of 5, and that's based on you know tens of thousands of reviews so most people just rate it five stars very few one star reviews um, they also have premium version so if you're running WooCommerce there's a lot of different things you can do with Yoast and it always stays updated so when WordPress updates you're gonna get a Yoast update so it's my favorite WordPress SEO plug and it says the number one um, and it's between this and there's all-in-one SEO but I've always liked using Yoast SEO more it really gives you a ton of information if you're using WordPress now the next few tools, they have some paid options. Um, they are, they have some free options, paid options. There's some limitations to the free versions, but even the free versions will give you a ton of information. The first one is going to be the Moz Link Explorer. So with this, you get 10 total search queries of every month with a Moz account, a free Moz account. So you enter a domain here and it's gonna give you a ton of information about, you know, what their backlink profile looks like, inbound links, where they're coming from, the anchor text that other websites use. Uh, you can find how many links they've gained and lost. You can do this for your own website. I like to do it for competitor websites to try to find some different links on those websites. So if you scroll down, you can see top followed links to the website, top pages on the website, top anchor links, um, to really find some different information about a website's backlink profile and really help you gain your own backlinks. So if you're not familiar with Moz.com, it's one of the best SEO tools, companies. They got a ton of different information. They have a ton of different content about search engine optimization. So you can see up here, Learn SEO, Moz Pro, Moz Local. So if you're trying to improve your results in search engines, Moz.com is probably one of the best websites. I have right here the Moz.com slash free SEO tools. You can see they have a bunch of different free SEO tools to go along with the pro version. So they have the Keyword Explorer, the Link Explorer, Mozbar. Um, with local marketing, you can check your business listening, listing, um, manage permissions with My Business Console, research categories. So a lot of different things you can do with Moz.com. I'd highly recommend trying their 30-day trial if you haven't already. It's worth trying, and if you're not interested, you can always cancel it. So Moz.com, one of the best you know, free and paid tools for search engine optimization. The next one, um, to continue with backlinks, 
is using ahrefs.com slash backlink checker. So when you search, uh, they'll give you a backlink profile for a website and they'll show the top 100 backlinks. To get more, you're going to have to update to their free trial or do, they have a seven day trial for $7, excuse me, or do their full, full premium version to get all the information. Um, but they're going to show the top five, top 100 backlinks, top five anchors, top five pages. If you scroll down, you can just find a ton of different websites that are linking to either your website or a competitor website. See which pages they're linking to. Um, and it's going to give you some content ideas. It's going to give you, you know, maybe to find some websites that you can interact with, engage with. Um, so maybe they'll link back to your website if you can create good content and things like that. So using looking at backlink profiles will give you a ton of ideas for how to get more links to your website, how to create content that people are more likely to link to, because you're going to see what pages people link to the most by using these tools. Um, and a lot of times it's things that you probably don't have on your website that people aren't linking to. So looking at backlink profiles, seeing what people link to, seeing what pages link to those pages um, will really give you a lot of information about how to grow your backlink profile. So the next thing is kind of a competitor tool, so it's similar to web.com. So you can either analyze your own website. Um, again, I did coastalliving.com. So you can scroll down, see what the global rank is, country rank. Uh, similar web, you're going to need some bigger websites to show all of the data that I'm going to show below. But you can see it's estimating total traffic over the last six months, total visits, average visit duration, bounce rate. Um, if you keep scrolling down, you can see where traffic comes from. You can see traffic sources from desktop, so direct, referrals, mostly organic search, social, mail, display. So under referrals, you can see what the top referring websites are. So this can be helpful for me to see if I can get some of these websites to link to me. Obviously, Coastal Living is kind of a bigger brand with some other smaller brands, you know, like Southern Living is part of the same company. Um, so you can see some of these are going to be based on what, you know, what the website is and any of the partners they have. Um, but you can really learn a lot about what pages are linking to it and driving traffic. So search, it's saying 45% from search, the top five keywords. Um, it's saying no paid, 0% paid, no paid keywords here. Um, so social, it's going to show where traffic is coming from, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, any display advertising. So you can learn a lot with similarweb.com. It's a great you know, analysis tool for some com competitors. If you use this along with kind of looking at some of the backlink profiles for uh, your other competitor websites, it's really going to help you understand where either you're driving traffic from or where some of your competitors are driving traffic from, specifically in search engines. Um, so that's really a great SEO tool is similarweb.com, really to see what traffic is coming from search, top keywords, and then you can kind of analyze where other traffic is coming from to give yourself more opportunities to grow traffic to your own website. Now the next one is Screaming Frog. So this it's called the Screaming Frog SEO Spider. And basically what it does is they have a free version and a paid version. It's a software that you download. And if we scroll down, my favorite things about it is you can find broken links. So if you go on your enter your website, it's gonna find broken links on your website that you can fix. So if you change any URLs, if any of your pages don't exist anymore, it's gonna help find those broken links so that you can fix them. Um, it can analyze page titles and meta description um, and meta keywords so you can see if there's any long meta descriptions, any things that are duplicates. You can discover duplicate content as well. Um, so if you have a ton of duplicate content on your website, you can kind of narrow it down and add it all to the same page or figure out a better way to organize it. Uh, you could generate XML sitemaps. There's a lot of different things you can do with just a free version. It will only allow you to crawl 500 URLs, but it's going to help you find a lot of issues. Even if you just do it a few times, just use the free version and see if you have any issues because it's going to look at your website like any website crawler would. So like Google sends uh, website crawlers to your website to be able to look at all your links and analyze them. Screaming Frog will do the same thing and allow you to see any issues that you have on your own website. Now last but not least, kind of a very simple tool, zadroweb.com slash SEO auditor. Um, so what it does under page authority, it'll give you a page authority, domain authority, load time, and Google page speed. So it'll show you right off the bat any issues that you might be having in terms of not having enough backlinks to your website, not having enough backlinks to this specific page, um, some load time issues. So if you scroll down, it's going to give you an overall score, 
give you some successes, some warnings, some errors. So I like to first look at the errors. So it's going to say SEO stats, heading tags. It's going to say no H1 tags were detected on this page. A bunch of different H2s that probably aren't good enough, it's saying. So with under H3 headers, it's going to show all these different ones. So it's going to give you some different ideas. It's going to say needs attention. Heading tags are important for explaining what the content of the page is about in a concise manner. So if I don't have an, an header tag, H1 tag, uh, that's beach decor basically, uh, it's going to say this is just not detected at all. They're not going to be able to see exactly what your website has to offer. Again, images, so this might show there's way too many images or if there's any issues with some of the alt text for the images. Um, so just keep all this stuff in mind. Uh, so this is 13 free SEO tools, uh, some free ones from Google. I'll have them all listed in the description of this video. Make sure you test a lot of them out. You don't need to use hundreds of SEO tools. Just having a bunch of free ones and then some paid options will help you figure out some keywords for your website, figure out any issues that your website's having. So you can sell, tell Beachfront Decor has a decent amount of issues in terms of page speed, um, some errors on the website. So there's some things that I can go back and improve for sure. Um, and I learn a lot of that by just using some of these SEO tools. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you for watching our video today.